Hello. Um, today I wanted to talk about a movie that, um, when I got this new version, I mentioned it and also some of the other versions, like uh, the past Blu-ray and the uh, DVD that I have of it. And, um, you know, I've watched it, of course, since and recently. And so I thought it would be a good time to just sort of talk about uh, American Psycho. Um, a cult film, a uh, horror film, so, um, you know, not the most, uh, uh, but gory, uh, let's say, film, but, I mean, there is a decent amount of, you know, blood and such going on, and some body parts that we see, you know, the, has an, uh, an amazing cast, <clears throat> of course, uh, Christian Bale is the lead as Patrick Bateman. Um, also stars Willem Dafoe as a detective, Jared Leto as Paul Allen, and uh, Josh Lucas, Samantha Mathis, uh, Matt Ross, Bill Sage, Chloe Sauvigny, uh Kara Seymour, Justin uh, Thoreau, Thoreau, probably him butchering that name or uh, just pronouncing it wrong, whichever you want to prefer uh, to say, Governor uh, Turner and uh, Reese Witherspoon, um, based off of the uh, novel by Brett Easton Ellis. Um, I haven't really read the book too much, you know, or uh, if at all, but there are certain things that, you know, obviously don't happen in the film that do happen in the movie um but you know it's really cool to uh watch this again and to see you know really uh, the fact that it's uh, uh, making fun of yippie culture in the 80s you know it's like 1987 and then 1988, because, you know, it's referenced that somebody disappeared on uh, December 30th, so clearly means, you know, and, and also we saw, you know, a Christmas party, so, you know, maybe this is a Christmas film, you know, you know, anything with Christmas anymore, if there's even a moment that seems to be, that's a Christmas movie, because this, <laughs> um, but, you know, this is uh, a very good film, I think. You know, I know not everybody is totally um, uh, into horror, and I, def I definitely understand that. Um, it isn't overtly gory. Uh, there is blood, of course, and you do see people getting killed. And sometimes you just see body parts and such, like someone's decapitated head. Um, but, you know... It's not overtly gory, but, you know, because of the ratings, they had to cut out some of the, I guess, more bloody uh, moments, or trim it back, I guess I should say. Not really bloody, because, you know, the runtime of this film isn't all that different from the runtime of the R-rated version. It's just, you get to see, like, a few more seconds, so maybe enough was uh, taken out to where maybe it was, like, 30 to 60 seconds or so of a difference you know overall it's the same thing just more blood and um you know this really is a satire of the whole yuppie culture of the 80s as i mentioned and um one thing that i really appreciate is the performances by everybody you know of course christian bale is the best i think person um who could ever play patrick bateman a lot of people say this is his best performance of his career, or performance of his career. Um, I've already talked about how I love his uh, Bruce Wayne and Batman. I think that, in my opinion, to me, is his best performance. Um, I would definitely say in the top five for sure. Maybe three, but I don't know. I kind of like uh, his performances in The Fighter and The Machinist more personally but you know I could definitely see this being fourth for me um 
and uh, because you know he i mean he really does an amazing job he's very you know cold and distant distant and but also you know very charming when he you know wants to be or has to be depending on the situation um and it's very uh, 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 uh it's a, an amazing performance overall um I know people are like you know you should have gotten nominated for an academy award and i definitely understand that and see why people say he should have but you know this is a horror movie and we all know horror movies generally do not get acknowledged uh, by such major award ceremonies um be that for good or bad um you know of course like silence of the lambs one best picture and such but you could also say that's like a psychological horror film which i think is definitely uh fitting um but i do see that as a horror movie i know there are people who say it isn't at all but you know i mean the premise of that film is quite horrifying when you really just lay it out i mean i guess you could say that for various uh movies too but you know that one is very disturbing very creepy and eerie and you know, and this is, uh, has some, you know, definitely creepy moments too, but with the more blood and the more killing that we do see on screen in this film, you know, this definitely qualifies, I guess, you know, more of a horror film than say the Silence of the Lambs would in the, like, in the traditional sense, you know, with that film, you gotta put psychological horror, or with this, you can just say, yes, it is a horror film, but it's also a, like a dark comedy. Um, there's enough in here that is quite humorous and um, I haven't listened to the new commentary of course I'm not the biggest commentary listener overall but there's a new commentary here so I don't know maybe one day I'll be curious enough to listen to it but you know this is a, a very good film uh, Mary Heron directed this film and also co-wrote it Guinevere Turner. I uh, I haven't seen anything else that Mary Heron has done, but I don't want to say anything bad, of course. But you know, I really enjoy this film, so I might go and try to seek out some of the other stuff that she has made, at least another film or two, and see what happens. Um, I mentioned before when I got this, you know, there's this, you know, his morning routine, and then. You take it off and then and yeah, here's the back and then the back of this is with the axe which of course we people who have seen it will definitely know what this is you know he kills paul allen spoiler alert for that but uh, also at this point i think a lot of people have heard or seen images memes about it like you know because jared leto is paul allen christian bale is Patrick Bateman, and he's, of course, played Batman. Sure, Little played the Joker. So then it's like, you know, Batman finally killed the Joker. Because, <clears throat> you know, there's always that thing where, you know, Batman doesn't kill anybody. You know, that's like a rule of his. Now, in some films, he does, but sometimes it's more blatant. Other times it's used to be, like, not intentional, but, you know, it was sort of like a effect of what was going on there. Um, and on the inside, the discs look like uh, the business cards, where there's like this whole thing of business cards. And in fact, you can uh, see here, there is one Patrick Bateman. And uh, the 4K Blu ray is Paul Allen. Normal Blu-ray is Patrick Bateman. And, uh, yeah. This film came out in 2000. And, um, and like the book, it had its own share of controversies um like it's misogynist or uh, uh 
sexist, whatever, because, you know, various women do die or have been killed. And we do see, you know, them getting killed or or hurt um, or bodies or uh, body parts at some points. And so, you know, part of it also is like, you know, the whole satire aspect is sort of lost and isn't seen, or at least for some of the people at the time when this film came out, and even the same with the book. Um, and um, I'm glad that the people who made this film made it, because, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio was going to play Patrick Bateman, and Oliver Stone was going to direct it, and um, that wasn't something that I think would have been a good thing. Uh, Oliver Stone a fine filmmaker in his own right and DiCaprio is a fine actor in his own right I don't really know if they would have really been a good fit for this I mean it could have been a fine movie but whether it would have been as beloved and enjoyed as it is today I don't know um, you know uh, Christian Bale really understood the character of Patrick Bateman in that you know he you know he's a He's a dork, and he is a dork, you know, and even other characters at times say, like, he's like a dork or a loser or whatever, and that's another thing. People keep constantly uh, mistaking Patrick Bateman for other uh, people, you know, Albert Stram or Davis. I could, so many people have, like, similar haircuts, similar glasses, and uh, do like the same thing, you know, but uh, the business cards there, like the Pierce and Pierce, you know, Wall Street, they're both vice presidents. And, uh, and the, all the business cards you see, it all says vice president. So it's like, it's quite interesting. And then of course, as the, you know, the film itself, you know, uh, spoiler territory here, I guess, but if you haven't seen it, but it's one of those things where it makes you wonder did what we see happen or at the very least implied happen at certain points actually happen or was it all in Patrick Bateman's head but of course you know with the mistaken identity that people seem to have for other people could it have been that he killed uh, people or killed certain people at least if not everyone or was it in his head it's one of those things where the it's it's very interesting to think about and um and people discuss it and i've seen people go back and forth on that issue and, or that issue but that sort of thing of whether or not he killed people or not and it's definitely uh, fun to think about and um, talk and i've never really myself gotten into that discussion because it's i don't know it's kind of just fun to hear what other people say I don't really have too much of an opinion because it seems like you can make an argument for either um, you know like it might have just been all in his head and he's just that sick in the mind who has all these terrible thoughts he doesn't actually go out and do what his thoughts seem to have or, or act on his thoughts I should say I don't even know what that other uh, sentence was it was very you know very uh, not grammatically correct but you know what I mean he you know he has these dark thoughts but doesn't uh, go out and um, act upon them he just has them and you know that's you know, obviously seen as sick and twisted but not as much as if he you know actually committed said uh, yeah, killings any other crimes he might have uh, you know we could probably chuck up that he has done with um with the other you know with the element of um people constantly uh, mistake people for other people in this world it does give credence that he did kill people but then it's one of those things where once you see the whole film uh, you're like yeah okay this is 
equates something and it's very dark and yeah it's it's uh, something that is definitely a movie where by the end of it you're just like hmm you know that was quite the <laughs> quite the ride or experience or whatever you want to say because it is very good in the sense that you know it's a it's a very engaging film you know there are moments where you know you might not laugh out loud but you'll definitely at least kind of chuckle or you'll know it's funny um but you know you it was you know you're very invested with patrick bateman despite him being seen as a very cruel and uh, bad uh, person yeah he's the protagonist and uh, you know in some of these films you know protagonists in like a horror film can be uh, uh, killers or bad people and yet you kind of root for them in, in one way or another but you know it's it's always a movie it's this is a movie that's interesting to talk about and to think about um, I hope uh, yeah I hope as many people see this as possible who haven't. Um, you know, if you're a fan of Christian Bale, I think this is definitely a movie that is worth watching. Um, you know, there's no jump scares or anything. Just there is blood and not really any gore uh, that I recall seeing uh, in this viewing, this last viewing. But it's definitely a movie that is uh, entertaining engaging at various points and you know all the performers or performances by all the actors and actresses are uh, excellent um it's it's very uh it's this is a very well done movie um i enjoy it and uh i'm glad i got to you know watch it again um if you've seen it um what do you think about it? Do you really enjoy it? Do you think um, Christian Bale uh, deserves some sort of uh, acknowledgement, like by like an Academy Award nomination or whatever? Um, do you think this is his best performance, or are you like me, where another performance of his uh, is better? You know, regardless if you think the movie or movies, perhaps if you don't if you rank one or two above it of this performance does his performance in another film or two or three or whatever uh better you know of course you can always say like a certain movie you like more than the other but this person's performance in that is better is better than the one that i love the most like for instance i love jaws i think roy scheider is excellent but for me, my, his best performance, in my opinion, was in All That Jazz. But I will put Jaws above All That Jazz, in my opinion, because, you know, I love All That Jazz. It's a great film, but I just love Jaws more. Whereas, with, in this situation, great performance and great film. But I don't really uh, see that as Bale's best. I think, you know, his Bruce Wayne and Batman is so really good that you know in a way i think he did sort of tap into a little bit of the darkness that we see in this film for batman but of course without the uh uh serial killing part you know that's not there uh, for obvious reasons but you know he does get dark in this film and he's dark in those films and that darkness that he really tapped into here he does touch into it a bit here and there throughout the dark knight trilogy were needed as Batman, so, um, but the nuance that he gave for Bruce Wayne and everything else with his Batman, you know, there's so much to that character that he gave that I just really love, and I love his interpretation the best out of everyone who has played the character, and, um, you know, to, to me, like, he, he just stands tall above everyone else, but, you know, again, that's me, and, you know, don't disrespect to anyone else who has played that character, you know, Bruce Wayne and Batman, but, you know, Christian Bale is just a quality actor in such a way that it's like, you know, 
he, he could pretty much almost play anybody. You know, I think, you know, Gary Oldman is also somebody who could do that too. Um, you know, and, um, and, th and this film really helped him truly break out of the child star um, uh, sort of thing that some people saw him as. Because obviously, you know, he was, uh, you know, 13 when he made, or, or at least when uh, Empire of the Sun came out. And he uh, was a child star for many years. And then like in 92, he was 18. So he was an adult, but, you know, he didn't get any bigger, major uh, leading roles that truly had him shine in the leading part. Um, at least none that were of true note. Um, this film really helped cement him as being a true leading man. And he's even said, like, you know, part of the reason he took the part was because people told him if he did the American Psycho, that would basically kill his career. And he's like, right, bring it on. I'm, I want to see if that will happen. And then sort of similar to, you know, what he did Batman. You know, people like, if you do Batman, you will never be able to do anything else again. It's like, oh, bring it on. I want to see if that will happen. And, you know, he was able to continue doing great stuff uh, after American Psycho. And then with Batman, doing great in uh, those films. Uh, he was even given uh, uh, much more, oppor uh, bigger opportunities also. Because that really helped to cement him in the mainstream, really, for people. To really take notice who you know perhaps hadn't before and so in a way it's like you know this uh this film really helps him helped uh, christian bale a lot and um while it took a little while for uh cult following to truly uh happen you know he you know continued to do great work and uh the film finally got a uh well-deserved uh following and um this is a film that is, I think, definitely worth the cult status that it has. Of course, you know, the controversy that came with it did have a hand in, you know, the uh, huge hit that it could have been, perhaps, at the time when it came out in 2000. Sort of yeah, held it back a bit, but, you know, some movies just take a while to uh, get any kind of traction with um unfortunate sometimes but some but other times you know might be well worth it and uh and a cult following is what you might want for some films and regardless you know an audience found this film um 2005 was, i believe was when the unrated uh cut came out of course when the wake of batman begins when people are really talking about christian bale we re-released this on DVD, and then from there, well, you know, we all we all know what happened, and uh, yeah, great film and performances again. Uh, I I really don't have much else to say here because I'll just be repeating myself. So it's best I just sort of like stop now while I'm a, I, as ahead of myself as possible. So. Uh, Hope all of you are having a great day. Hope you're having a. Hope you'll have a great weekend, and uh, hope you had a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.